guys, this is Texas Tiger Diggs again. And uh, I don't do many box openings, but I am going to do one here because this is a company I've never dealt with before, uh, D-Tech. Uh, I've seen them around, uh, you know, a person who spends as much time looking through uh, the uh, literature and advertisements for metal detectors. You get pretty familiar with all the vendors and all the type of detectors. But the, the D-Tech was a new one for me. Um, I bought this is a coil for my uh, Sovereign GT. Uh, I've got the the standard coil, which I believe is 10 inches. Uh, and I had purchased a coil tech, 20, 20 some odd, 22 inch coil, uh, coil tech at one time. Because uh, at that time, I had large areas to cover that with sparse signals. But as I move and hopscotch away from my more familiar small parks down into either larger parks or the smaller parks nearer the central parts of the city. Uh, I don't really need coverage as much as I used to, so I don't really need that large coil. I do have a large coil for my uh, for my AT Pro AT Gold, which is the uh, the nail the nail attack coil. Now I'm going to keep that because uh, I need that. I have a large coil for my uh, Tehans. Uh, well, two large coils, one for the uh, UMAC side and one for the Tejan, Vaquero, and uh, and Cibola side. Uh, they're not a huge one, but they're like, I don't know, they're 17, 18 inches, 20 inches. They're not very, they're not very large. They're not, they're not a huge coil, so they're usable. And what I like about the coils I've mentioned so far is those coils, even at their size, do have a very defined area, and I have had good luck digging small targets but the uh, the mine lab uh, the sovereign gt is a whole different ball game it, it uh, the sovereign gt is not known for its speed of reactivity i do like it and it, and it, it has given me some depth and some openings and some uh, and some new parts and some old parks i mean and so this is the uh, this is the uh, search call i haven't opened the box yet i did take off the black wrapping that it came from from bulgaria took it about two two and a half weeks to get here so uh, I think uh, uh, those of you who are not purchasing from offshore man offshore manufacturers, you know, for for specific reasons of the length of time it's going to take to get it, I have no nothing nothing but good news, uh, nothing but good success ordering. Uh, you know, I bought the uh, nail coil which came from the uh, came from the Ukraine, and Ukraine, you know, is having some political issues now that I hope is, are getting resolved but when I did it it did not have any problems and it got here very quickly and this is from Bulgaria and it also got here very quickly so uh, don't let shipment time uh, be an issue for you unless you're very impatient in any case uh, this is the coil I got it is a small double D search coil and it it good yeah. comes with a coil cover most of the most of the non-big manufacturers do the non-major manufacturers do uh, ship things with call covers in any case so this is it and i like this now now i'm going to put it and get it out uh, with my uh with my uh sovereign gt and some of my trashy areas i got this one part that is particularly trashy and because the sovereign gt is not the fastest in the reactivity you're not going to use a large even medium sized coil in that trash area you're going to need this small coil and it's uh it looks good looks well made but uh we'll test it so i just wanted to uh, give a quick shout and this out to you and say i got a new search coil for my sovereign gt so it'll be more useful in the trashy areas that i seem to be invading more and more often all right i'm going to do a quick uh depth test air test here uh, don't really expect it to have validity I'm just doing it because I've got a new coil and I get to do this all right so here I got I got a dime here so it looks like I'm really I'm not didn't set this up well, but looks like I'm really set here at about five inches, give or take, with a dime. And I'm getting a little bit over six inches with a quarter. I think you can believe that in, in reference to the dime. So um, it's not real deep, but it's a small coil. I don't expect it to be very deep. 
I just expect it to get in among the trash and give me just a, you know, four or five inches down would be great. Uh, anything above that would be super. So I think that'll be about what I need. To. I want to pick the good stuff out of the garbage. So we'll see if that works. And uh, I'll be field testing this probably this weekend. Uh, but uh, just wanted to uh, give this little uh, intro to my, uh, to my new coil. So... Well, that's all I've got to say. Uh, you know, the the hunts go on, and I'm still doing my hunts while I'm uh, getting a, a new thing every once in a while. And by the way, I also purchased this because the you know there are Call Tech has some small coils and some other companies, but this was a good forty dollars less expensive than the others. And I've always been a person who is going to at least try the less expensive alternative before I go to the more expensive ones. I'm one of the generic medicine guys rather than the brand name. Because if it does the same and costs less, cool. If it doesn't do the same and costs less, it's all according to the degree it doesn't do the same. Uh, you know, if it if it's just like 5% less and then costs 30%, 5% less effective and costs 30% less, uh, then I've got some thinking to do. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs and I will catch you. And I'm going to put this thing out and probably uh, this weekend uh, give it a little field test. Uh, this is a, a weekend's a few days away from me, uh, but I'm using uh, one of my other machines on a pretty consistent basis this week just to, to work it out and uh, sort of give a consistency to the week. So uh, I'll be able to use this when the, my uh, my next hunt, my next hunt part, a hunt session begins after I complete this one. All right, I'll talk to you later. You have a wonderful day.